Good day children. Today in English 2, we are going to continue with the remaining exercises of our topic adjectives. Children, in exercise G, we have the question, write nouns from the picture under the correct heading. The heading is given adjectives and nouns and the first example is done for you. Colorful is the adjective and the noun is rainbow. In the same way, we have to find out words like the second one, red. Now, what is red? Red is the color of the dress the girl is wearing. Then, we have three adjective and the noun is eggs. In the nest, you can see three eggs are there. So, three is the adjective and the noun is eggs. Then, we have happy. Now, here, happy adjective, noun is girl. The fifth one is bright. So, what is bright? What can you see bright in the picture? It is the sun. The sun is a noun. Then the next is big. Here, what is big in the picture? The tree. The tree is big. So, big is the adjective and the noun is tree. So, this is exercise G. Then we move on to exercise H. In exercise H, the question is fill in the blanks with words that are similar in meaning. That is same in meaning to the underlined adjectives. Now you have to choose the meaning, the word similar meaning, with similar meaning from the box given there. From there you have to choose the word like the first sentence. Zubin's room is tidy and Pia's room is neat too. So the word tidy and neat are same in meaning, similar in meaning. The next sentence is yesterday was a cold night. So the word cold is underlined. What is same in meaning with the word cold, it is chilly. So, it was so chilly that no one wanted to step out of the house. The third one, the glittering jewels were kept on the, now the word glittering is underlined. What is same in meaning with glittering? It is sparkling, shining. So, the word glittering is same in meaning to shine, sparkling. The glittering jewels were kept on the sparkling silver tray. Then the fourth, the children were happy to meet their grandparents. What is similar to happy? The grandparents were also glad. Then fifth one, the girls wore similar shoes. Even their dresses looked alike. Sixth, the king's palace is a large building. Large and you all know meaning of large is big. It has big rooms. Seventh, mother makes delicious food. We enjoy the, now you know what is same in meaning to delicious, tasty. We enjoy the tasty dishes every day. The last one, my aunt was wearing a pretty sari. Her coat was also beautiful. We move on to exercise I. Fill in the blanks with adjectives that are opposites. Now we have to choose the word opposite word of the given word which is underlined. So, let us start the first sentences. All the clothes are dry. Now, what is the opposite of dry? You have to find out from the box and write in the blank given. This towel is, so dry, opposite of dry is wet. Then you have second, you have drawn a crooked line. So, you know what is the opposite of crooked? It is straight. Please draw a straight one. The third, juice is cold, heat. T is, opposite of coal is, hot. Then the fourth sentence, Adil thinks the sums are easy. What is the opposite of easy? It is, right, it is difficult, but I find them difficult. Fifth sentence, Tanvi is awake. Everyone else is asleep. Awake, opposite, asleep. Sixth, Arif is always polite. Opposite of polite is rude. He is never rude. Now here the blank is first and then you have the sentence he is never rude. So the opposite of rude is polite. Then you have fast. So what is the opposite of fast? It is slow. A tortoise is slow but a hare is fast. Now here we complete with the topic of adjectives. You are going to complete exercise G. H and I in your grammar book.